Welcome! Tenchi Moyo was a huge anime franchise that had its heyday in the mid-90s. It's one of those franchises that crossed a lot of genres and managed to get a lot of them right. Adventure, comedy, action, a little character development, and a little romance. The franchise focuses on Tenchi Masaki, a teenage boy who ends up living in a house full of cute alien girls, all of whom are interested in him in various ways. This may sound very familiar if you're an anime fan. Well, that's because Tenchi helped create that trope. And because it was one of the first, it actually doesn't feel derivative when you watch it. Okay, you might ask, why are these cute girls interested in Tenchi? Because he has awesome powers, and he can wield a lightsaber-like sword to, and do all sorts of other cool things if he could just calm himself down enough to actually use those powers. Of course, this also attracts the attention of all sorts of entities, from space pirates to ancient alien beings, and that forms the central conflict. These sort of cute girls around Tenchi, and then all the villains around them. And that's one of the reasons it's a little hard to explain Tenchi, because it crosses a lot of genres. Is it a romantic comedy? Well, Tenchi's not interested in any of the girls, really. Is it an action-adventure show? Yeah, but a lot of the episodes are just straight-up comedies. Is it a science fiction show? Yes, certainly, but it's not really about that at all. Is it a coming-of-age story? Well, there's not really enough time spent on Tenchi himself for it to qualify as, as that, exactly. This is made even more difficult by the fact that as the fran franchise went on, several of its series rebooted the franchise. Yes, they were doing that in the 90s, too using the same characters with new backstories. There's really no attempt at a unified timeline in Tenchi, but then it doesn't matter that much anyway. This franchise is all about the characters' personalities and how they interact. What's also interesting is that Tenchi is widely considered to be the first proper harem series. While it's not the first show to feature a guy surrounded by cute girls, it codified the trope. Everyone knew what it was post-Tenchi. But it's not your typical harem show, though. Uh, but I have a whole other video on that topic. Overall, Tenchi's a trailblazer that also managed to do multiple genres well. It might not be right for you, but it's an impressive achievement that's worth checking out. 